Welcome back to the channel. Today's video is going to be so short because I want to introduce a number of concepts, but we shall be able to pick up from there in our series. Now we've been able to add single items by just clicking the add to cart and you have that showing up and we have the new order item in our mini cart. Now when we go to our pizza we have something different and that's a variable product. When we click on this add button we are able to see all the different options that are available and we can check on them. If you don't know how we go to this part please look in the previous video in this series. Now the way WooCommerce works to get this item into this place is that when we go to something like salads and then we choose to look underneath the code. So we're going to inspect this element. We'll see that we have this button and it has something very simple. It has an href that adds a question mark right here and then we have the add to cart 44 which is the ID of this particular product. When this button is clicked you realize that it runs to this particular link and it's the same thing that we're going to do. If we want to have our order pizza, click on this button, we should be able to get all the different IDs of what we've checked here and then run them through this particular URL. So for example, I'm just going to go back right here into my code, I'll open up the editor and we're going to realize that each one of these inputs I am able to actually get the variation ID because we already have it here as a variable. So what I'm going to do is just get this variation ID from here and I am going to just echo it down here next to the label. So I'll add it next to the full name. I need to add semicolons here for proper PHP. I see I have the same error here and here and here. So that is a good way of doing it. And the next thing that I'm going to do is just add a period here and another just to allow us to add spaces right here. So we'll add a space and what I'm going to do is just add the variation ID in here. I'll separate it with the dash. I'm going to save this, come back here, reload this. So when we go to our pizza and click this, you'll see that we have the different IDs that I was talking about. So I'm just going to choose this medium extra cheese which is 29 and I'm going to go to this URL and I'll add 29 here. When I hit enter right here you'll see that my page refreshes and you're going to see that we have this barbecue pizza medium extra cheese showing up right here. Let me do that again so that you can see another example. So I'll choose the large extra cheese which is 32. I'm just going to hit 32 right here and you'll see that we have all these other items showing up inside our mini cart. Now that's what we need to do. Every time we go to pizza, click the plus button. When we choose the different items here and we click on our add to cart button that I'm going to place here, it should be able to use JavaScript to trigger the event and this is going to lead us into a whole maze of something that we call Ajax. Ajax is just simply having JavaScript send data asynchronously that is in the background without interfering with the display or the behavior of our existing page. Now I have used that number of terms that might seem so big but in simple terms it is going to get our data without reloading the page and then move different functions all together so we're going to have JavaScript working with our PHP to send data into our cart. So that's the next thing that we are going to do. For now let's first add our add to cart button right here. Now if we wanted to be very simplistic in nature we would add an add to cart button in every one of these locations. And what do I mean by that? We will just come here to our label the next thing that I'm going to do because we have a break tag here I'll move this down and I'm going to add just an A tag with an href just like we had before in our 
viewing of the code when we came down here and inspected the a tag we can copy actually this HTML so I'll edit copy this and then just bring it back to my code here I'll replace this and you're going to see that all we need to do is make this number dynamic right here so I'll add some PHP here PHP and all I'm going to do is echo and what I need to echo is this variation ID here so I'm just going to cut this clean this out here and I just need to paste this PHP here and you can see that actually we have a little bit of error because we do not close this PHP right here so I'm going to save this and when I come back to our page reload this come back to pizza click this icon you'll see that we have this add to cart showing up here now this is not a good way of having a user interaction with our website. Yes, it will allow us to add the extra medium cheese, and you'll see that that medium cheese is actually here. We now have two pieces instead of one. If we go to pizza, click this margarita, and choose the medium pepperoni for margarita, I'll click add to cut. You'll see that we have that showing up here again. It works but it's not a very good user experience to just have all these here. That's why we have the option of someone ordering all the many pieces that they want and they should be able to just click the little add to cut button here and we should have everything picked from wherever it is, then we send it to our mini cut. That's the next step we're going to do. So this works very well, you could use it as an option you've seen it, we can add the small olives by clicking the add to cart and it shows up, but that's not the best user experience we can have. So in the next video we are going to be able to click our pizza, click this icon and then choose the different versions that we want, click the add to cart button here that will loop through all these different products that have been checked, get their IDs, then we shall use Ajax to just run those products into our mini cut. Let me know your questions in the comments, would you prefer to just use this to make your work easy or do you want to go the whole mile by allowing us to check these boxes right here and add the products. Otherwise if you enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up, look out for the next one, don't forget to subscribe, I'll see you in the next video.